Nigerian, also on 95. Uh, Mary Third from Cameroon, 97. Rebecca Tyler looking to come in at 91. But this is pretty important. She has got the first attempt at 85 kilos. That's all important because it's going to keep her in the competition. But this could make a big difference because I think there could be a really interesting fight for the bronze medal here. Come on. Oh, so oh. close. She's getting it to arm's length. She's right there, but just a little bit too much weight into the heels, and you can't save it. That's what's so unforgiving about the snatch portion of this competition. So much precision is required. So uh, Crystal and Garland will have to come out now and uh, take this 90 kilos. The reason being that nobody else wants this weight. It will move up after she's taken this attempt. And as you said, you know, she did this weight in Kazan, so she knows that it's within her compass. She just felt it a couple of minutes ago. She knows what to expect. This will really put her in a good position for the clean and jerk. As you say, you can't be hesitant. You've really got to be confident and go for this. And again, in front of her. She knows that was an opportunity lost, but what an effort. She gave it everything she had. She's got to refocus that energy into the clean and jerk. But being such a seasoned veteran at such a young age, she knows that full well. well there is England's Rebecca Tyler, but here, chance to look how the lift was lost there. And it was actually a long way in front of her. Kicked it in front. Well, here's the English sensation. 15-year-old Rebecca Tyler. She comes in here as the youngest ever winner of the British title. There we see the precision again. You know, it's so hard coming out here for the first lift. Really hard to control the nerves. Doesn't matter how experienced you are. Just a little bit too far behind and you can't hold on to it. If you try to, that's where we see those elbow injuries coming in. She's got really terrific family support here. Her mum, Emma, her dad, Chris, three sisters, Sophie, Lisa, Emily, all in the audience. And her grandmother and grandfather here. And her sisters, actually, Sophie and Lisa, are successful under 13 lifters. Well, you can see there's some pure athletic ability there that's definitely uh, genetic. She's, she's, found, she's found herself a really great sponsor. She, there was a big article about how she'd been picking up European youth silver and bronze medals. And a local butcher phoned up and said, I'd like to help her, I'd like to support her. It's Ian, by the way, and he's in the audience here. And he makes sure that she has steak, chicken and eggs. <laughs> Well, we know that when you're an athlete, the most important things are rest and recovery. And that means sleep and adequate nutrition. So that's a great kind of support to have. Yeah, great piece of local sponsoring. Coach is Eddie Halstead. Lives in Denholm, not too far away from Halifax, which is where she trains. What a save. Yeah. She is clearly very strong. That weight was pulling her back again. She was patient. Love to see the replay here. Here she's on the replay. You can see she pulled it right into that perfect spot. And then just about pulled her back, but she's so strong, she managed to stabilize. The good thing is that second attempt means that Rebecca Tyler's on her way. And the bar goes up to 95 kilos here for Marie-Jose Ares Pilon. And 95 kilos for her. Now, straight onto the stage to the bar. Now.
Angel the Say is a very explosive lifter. So you can see that Mary Jose is a very explosive lifter, throwing it from the hips, going right into that perfect catch position. Very strong and aggressive. We can expect to see a big jump after that one. And onto the stage for her first appearance. This is Itohan Ebire Gowesele, Commonwealth Games bronze medalist uh, just four years ago in Delhi. Opening up here on 95 kilos, and at least on paper, Jeannie, she is very much the favourite. So, interesting to see how she's going to progress right now. That's a great first lift. Very calm performance. That's right. Really patient in the bottom position. She stabilized, took a second, and came up with no problems. There we go. Gets it right to that hip position and throws it, catches it perfectly. See the patience in the starting position as well, and just so much explosive power after the knees. So it'll be Rebecca Tyler, I think, coming in for her third attempt, which will be a four kilo increase to take her up to 95 kilos. And if she does this, then it's going to be a new personal best. She's going to be able to be a lot more aggressive on this lift. She has an attempt already secured on the board, and now she has a hometown audience behind her. So doesn't waste any time. Almost, she sure gets low. No she is a speed athlete, David. She did come from that 100 meter background. Yeah, but I, I was thinking of the word ordeal. It's not an ordeal, but this is, again, although she's been very successful at Youth Europeans, uh, you know, this is a very different atmosphere for her. Biggest audience, biggest stage, whole family out there. You know, very difficult at the age of 15 to completely detach yourself from all of that. That's right. It's very difficult at the age of 35, as some of the older competitors are seeing as well. But she's done a great job, and now she can carry on to the clean and jerk, which is her specialty. So, representing the Cameroons, this is Marie Feg for her first attempt at 97 kilos. And this is to put her into the lead. Oh, impressive. Uh, that is very powerful. I suddenly feel like that 105 snatch record may be in jeopardy. Well, this is an athlete who moved up after Delhi from the 63 kilo category into the 69s, won the African Championships and really whipped the bar overhead. Yeah, we could see the way she caught that. She was quite high. Now we have MJ. Getting very low for a solid 97. Yeah, just a two kilo increase, but majority decision. So the central referee there with a query in his mind. So I would like to see the replay on that because this may be the first time we see a red for something that isn't an elbow. That wasn't elbow. What it may have been is something we have not yet seen this competition is something called pulling from the hang. That's when you slow down above the knees before accelerating and throwing the bar overhead. So it almost looks like the lift is a two-part movement. And Mary Jose has been called for that in the past. That may have been what that was. I'm not too sure. But the lift stands. Nonetheless, she's got her two kilo increment. So Nigeria will be next now. And looking at this, 
This is a three kilo increase here for Itohan. Itohan making quiet progress. They'll ignore her, the other coaches, at their peril. So let's watch her catch position. This for an eight kilo personal best. Very close indeed. Thought she was for a moment gonna just control and be able to drive up. That's right, she got too low with that bar heading backwards in order to be able to do anything to save it. This will be the third and final attempt of well, they've got a choice here, haven't they? They could put the weights up if they wanted to for the third attempt. And that they did. So now we have Marie Jose coming out at 99 kilos. Another conservative jump, but she's trying to gain ground here in the snatch portion of the lift. She just did 100 kilos. In the, in the spring in Canada at the national championships, so she knows she can do this, and she's clearly determined. That is some serious strength to hold that bar in the position she caught it in. Wow. Yeah, and I think uh, she and the Canadian coaching team here are really clearing their minds about the long term of this competition. What they want to do is make sure, as you can see, three out of three, to keep her right in touch there. Our fiance, uh, Paul Dumais, one of her coaches, a man who got fifth place in Delhi himself in the 85 kilo class, and now back to the Nigerian camp because they moved up to 100 kilos. They've ignored that failure at 98. They're confident that she's got the strength. Now it's all about technique. She's starting lighter in the clean and jerk. She really has to make some ground here in the snatch. She needs this lift to stay in the game. This is an extremely fast moving competition. It really is. And they made that decision for a good reason. Justified. Very justified. They asked her and she answered. Not much emotion on the face, but job done. She still has more work to do. That may be why she's holding out that smile for later. So watch this, anybody that wants to learn how to snatch. This is all you got to do, that simple. And worth remembering also that she weighed in at 67 kilos 37. So she has a body weight advantage over everybody in the field. That's a nice advantage to have with that lead as well. However, Five kilos up here for Marie Fig for the Cameroon. So this to put her in the lead. She has two attempts. She didn't get as low on that lift as you saw the other athletes getting. She was almost catching that in that power position we've been talking about where your thighs are parallel or above the platform, she needs to get a bit lower if she wants to hold on to a weight like this. So she has one more attempt and it is the last attempt in the first half of the competition. Here's the replay. Watch where she catches that bar. Just a little lower and she may have had it. This athlete also has the Olympic rings tattooed on her. Hasn't made it there yet, but she's clearly got a plan. Well, she's clearly quite happy with herself. She needs to come out and do this. This will be very interesting because it would give her a two kilo advantage over the Nigerian, and it would also put her three kilos clear of uh, Pilon. But the significance is with the Nigerian and that light body weight, this could be a very useful two kilos. So she's got a minute. She's really got a lot of chalk on there. She's taking her time, but you know you might as well. You've only got so many minutes. 
on the platform in a competition, you might as well enjoy them. Excellent. A really good repair job. Wow. So much room for more. You know, Christine Gerard is a good friend of mine, so I'm happy that she kept the record, but I really would have loved to see her try 106 because she definitely had the power in there today. It was a majority decision. And there you see she threw it from the hips right into that solid catch position. Elbows locked out right away. Wow, such a solid catch position. She got deeper than the last one, and that was definitely what made the difference. So we come to the halfway stage of the competition. Marie Fouque for the Cameroons on 102, two ahead of the lighter weight uh, Nigerian. And then you can see MJ Ares Pilon for Canada, 99. So just three kilos separating the top three. Then Rebecca Tyler, who's really going to have to pile on the weight in the clean and jerk if she wants to get involved in this. The younger of the two Canadians, 85 kilos, ahead there of Janet George, who lifted in the B group. And you can see she had 85 kilos at this stage as well. So... 